Welcome to new series. In this series of videos, uh, we'll learn about some advanced concept in Laravel. We will dig deeper into the framework, learn some concepts like uh, queuing, grouping performance with queuing, caching, and all other topics. So in this video, we'll uh, learn about mails and queuing them. So let me show you what I mean by that. Uh, suppose we have uh, this application uh, where user will sign up and we want to send mail to user uh, when user signs up like some welcome email uh, that can be just one email that can be more than uh, one email like welcome email and send some uh, password link you got the idea so what we basically do is uh, when user hits register route so this is Laravel application. So let's go to api.php. Here we defined route. So by the way, if you haven't followed this series, uh, I will put the link below. This is the phone book series uh, where we built this API here and front end on Vue.js. So register is hitting this auth controller at register. So let's go to auth controller and this is register. So after user is successfully registered, we will trigger a mail here. So trigger mail. So uh, doing this is fine, but uh, if there are more email and if email is uh, uh, email themselves are time consuming, they consume some time. Uh, so the code below here will take some time so overall response time will increase so what we will do is we will queue this uh, time consuming tasks uh, these are not so important uh, so the main thing is we return the response we register the user and return the response so all other sending email and these tasks are not mandatory these are uh, so it won't affect the the main workflow which is registering the user so it is best idea to uh, queue this email or this time consuming task so we'll learn that in this video okay let's first uh, start by uh, creating one email uh, when user signs up we'll send welcome email and then we'll see the difference in performance after queuing that email and without queuing that email so so let's create a new mail with uh, this may may level command so if you, if you are new to sending email in laravel uh, totally fine i'll go step by step so first we need to set the driver right so we will change on dot env so here we'll specify mail driver port username so all this will be provided by your server so since we are in local environment we'll use a service called mail trap uh, which is uh, really cool for testing purpose so this is our demo inbox and if you go to so if you first go there you'll uh, get these configuration so if you select PSP Laravel and it will return these okay so let me quickly set up the mail drive in our application okay so that's it you just need to input username and your password so all other stuff are already by default okay so let's create a new email with markdown mail label so this command will create a email template default email template with some markdown so we'll name it uh, welcome user and emails so markdown will be this file emails uh, customer welcome email let's create that mail created successfully oh. it's welcome user main okay so this is the markdown welcome email let's go to that welcome email and here we get uh, some custom email so dot click welcome thanks for signing up 
there we go uh, all right so our mail is in place now we need to call that mailable class so we send email like this so we'll call in auth controller after that so here we trigger the email and uh, email to user so we can just send user instance and it will automatically detect email so email name is welcome user mail okay welcome user mail we need to import that class all right so mail yeah we also need to import this mail for sat so mail to user and that's and let's see it in action go to our application refresh and so password any random password so now let's see in network tab how much time does it take okay it's still pending all right so let's see how much time that took all right that was 10 seconds almost 10 seconds that was a lot of time so we got user thanks for signing up this is to welcome you welcome so we got email everything uh, is fine but it took 10 seconds that's uh, not good so now we'll uh, queue this email so that it won't obstruct so as you know this PHP code uh, executes line by line so until this is complete all code below here won't execute so this is already taking too much time that's why it is taking 10 seconds now let's uh, enter into queuing section so similar thing uh, first we need to set up the queue driver so there are many queue driver but We'll use uh, we'll use database queue driver in this video. So there are other services like Redis, and yeah. So first step is to config. Go to config queue, and yeah, here you'll get information like uh, available drivers. So instead of going there we can go to dot env and this should be a queue driver let's change it to database all right and so since we are using database queue driver we need to first create some table luckily we got a command to generate that table there we go so PSP artisan queue table will generate the table for us necessary table for us migration created and now we need to migrate this yeah, if you want you can see the queue table it called jobs create jobs table so yeah so uh, it will create a queue jobs this is schema so if your application already got jobs table you can change that here uh, database table jobs you can give any name here and it will create a uh, migration accordingly okay now let's migrate php artisan migrate so jobs table created let's go to that table so this is the schema Currently we got no queue jobs. Now, now what we need to do is we need to create a job. So job is like uh, like we created email. It will be a job. That job can contain anything like sending email, processing your file, storing somewhere, or calling any other external APIs like that. So there is command to generate a job so PHP artisan make job uh, we'll call it uh, you can give any name but yeah, I follow this concept convention so let's go to welcome come email job that is inside this jobs app 
jobs and welcome email job so here we can call that uh, sending email function here so let's go back to auth controller where we put our email function and let's cut that out from here and paste it inside handle method all right so since we need user we need to pass that from constructor user so user and we need to initialize fields all right like this so php storm makes it easier you can manually type these so we need to import the app user class as well and then we can use like this this user mail to user we need to import necessary thing and like this we need to import everything okay so uh, now here previously it was trigger email function here now uh, since it is inside job we need to call that job from here so the way we call the job is like this so dispatch dispatch new welcome email job and we need to pass the user all right since we required it here we need to pass user from here all right so now this should be uh, on queue this shouldn't take much long because it will uh, it will just happen in background so we dispatch the job and everything here so now let's test let's sign new user let's create new user new dev let's hit sign up okay register happened so quickly one seconds previously it was taking 10 seconds but we do not get email why because we need to we need to do one more task like we need to uh, run the queue worker so queue worker is like uh, workers that uh, the job of that uh, those workers is to to look for any queued jobs and execute those job so queue worker will just uh, see if there are any job in our database table that we just created so currently there is no job so there is one job that is passed uh, but uh, we are not running queue worker which listen for this job and execute that so since we already hit that register function that job is created in database so this this function created that job in our database and now uh, since there are no worker running on background uh, it is not executing so we need to run that uh, uh, in our terminal and keep that running it's like npm run watch something like that so it is like watcher so the command is PSP like this PSP artisan Q work okay so PSP artisan Q work so processing processed all right so so now it is happening in background and if we go to our mail tab we should get new email there we go all right so let's clear everything and try once more so remember this time it is running on background so keep it running on your production environment also you'll keep this running so let's sign up so random user sign up there we go register happened so quickly and we should get email there we go so this is the power of queue workers so hope you learned uh, how you can improve your performance of your application and how to use queue so uh, so this is just uh, enough to get you started uh, all other options you can learn from here like uh, there are uh, many queues you can name the queue so by default it will push to default queue so it is just naming categorizing them okay so later on you can decide which queue to run first and which to run second so default second high first yeah so this is uh, basically the main thing about queues so hope uh, this video helped you uh, and I will see you in the next video with new topic.